Yes, and welcome back to Tauturo District, everybody. And we're in the middle of autumn, and we can harvest. That's right, our crop is finally ready to harvest. I was getting a little bit worried about it, actually, because... I think we planted this in, in spring, early or mid-spring, so it's taken pretty much half a year to become ready. So looking forward to getting this done. Uh, also, I hope you had an amazing Christmas and Santa brought you everything that you wanted. And uh, looking forward to a happy new year. I certainly am. Uh, let's get this thing fired up. And let's just throw the harvester. I oh, know it's already folded, that's right. What am I doing? Let's throw that down and let's get... The first thing we're going to do is get these headlands completed. So as you can see, I've got the straw swath, 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 whatever the way you want to say. I've got that enabled because I'm going to throw a baler over the top of that and create straw bales. We've actually only got a couple of straw bales left now. We've been using it all to make the bedding for the cows and also to add to the, the power food mixture for the cows. But uh, both the animals... Both the sheep and the cows are ticking along quite nicely. Uh, they're at the highest productivity that they can be, and I think it's only 84% or something like that that they can can get up to at this uh, the, at this time of year. Get it out. I will eventually. Um, so I've got those completely in the green. That's what, really what I've been doing the last couple of game days. Not a heck of a lot else to do, to be honest. And it'll be really interesting to see how much grain I actually get off these fields. I'm glad you start with this decent size uh, um, combine harvester. Uh, it should mean that we get a, get through the field pretty quickly. Um, and what, what I'm probably going to look to do is I'm going to get this uh, get this headland done. Uh, manually and I'll probably need to do a couple of passes because you want to leave enough room for the vehicle to be able to turn around when you've got an AI character controlling it so particularly the end uh, that we've just come from let's just scroll around there that fence over there in the distance that's the end that we're going to need to do several uh, several sort of passes on but we'll do one complete ring we'll see how much we get out of this now, I'm going to need to go and grab my tractor and trailer very soon now I was going to in, uh, upgrade my tipper um, which is only a smallish I think it only carries I think it might carry is it 13 or 21 thousand liters I can't remember now it's a green one I can't remember how much it is we'll find out very soon and I'm looking to actually upgrade that to one of the big ones I think it carries 40 thousand liters that you hook on to the back of the truck but I'm gonna hold off uh, with that in the meantime uh, we've got 25000 in the bank, so we haven't got enough. I think that tractor actually costs $60,000. I have got quite a bit of silage up in the biogas plant that I can sell that would get me up there. But given that these fields here are really close to my uh, silos, which you can see up here just in the background there, that's good timing. And you could also see the trees have all gone yellow, the deciduous trees, that is. Uh, these trees here obviously will remain green, and so will the ones in the forest. But if you scroll around here, you can see quite a number of trees have changed colour just as we head, head into the autumn season here on Seasons. But yeah, I think I'll hold off and I'll just use that smaller tractor and trailer unit in the meantime because it's not too far to go back and dump the grain off at the silos. And it just means I save a little bit of money in the meantime. I've actually got a couple of income sources that I can use. Uh, one is the biogas plant, is the, the silage that I just spoke about, the biogas plant, so that's one. The other one is I've got quite a bit of milk sitting down at um, at the dairy farm. I think I've got about 60,000 litres sitting there. And uh, that will produce approximately about $40,000 just over. So it's a nice little return. I do have to lease out the milk tanker uh, add-on, which will need to be attached to the back of the truck. But in the meantime... I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just lease it out. What I was going to say is I should actually buy one, but I'm not going to buy it at the moment just with the lack of funds. So I'll look to uh, lease that out again. But I won't do it right now. I'm not desperate for money, and given that I'm just going to hold on to this other trailer in the meantime, I'm not going to get too excited about that. But yeah, I'm really keen to see how much uh, drain I do get out of these fields. Uh, once it, I think I've got a capacity of two, oh, sorry, 100,000 litres in the silos. And so once I go above that, I'm sort of forced to sell it 
Uh, not unless I build a new silo, which is really expensive, so I'm unlikely to do that. I think this, this thing looks like it takes about 9,000 this uh, harvest it, so it's, an, it's a nice amount. Definitely uh, get around the field a few times, and I'm going to produce a lot of straw, there's no doubt about it. So we'll just get to the, oh there we go, it stops there, so I will actually put the pipe out. I will, let's try that again, I will put the pipe, no it won't, hold on, what, what's going on here, why is that not working, lower header, lift header, where is my pipe bores, uh, probably because I'm not on the right pipe out, there we go, we got there eventually, we'll put the pipe out, there I am sitting there with a nice green plaid shirt in there, plaid, whatever, and let's go and grab our We've got our Massey Ferguson right here, the 7700, oh, 7726 isn't it? It is indeed. Let's get rid of that and we'll just zoom back in here. We'll pick up our little tipper here, like I say it's not, ma oh I've just dropped my weight, come on Mace, sort your crap out. There we go. I think this one, I don't know if this take 20,000 is it or is it 12? It's been such a long time since I've used the tip of this size. Usually I upgrade pretty quickly. Now, as you can see, I'm driving straight over the crops. I haven't got the crop destruction mod on. Uh, we, we decided not to do it. Just because with seasons you get such a... You, you only get an opportunity to get a yield once a year. I want to make the most of it. So a little bit unrealistic, but that's what we'll do in the meantime. We'll just pull up here underneath the pipe. And we should see that come out any second. There we go. Okay, and this is wheat by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it'll be interesting to see, I think this is 20,000, I'm pretty sure this is 20,000, or maybe it's 15,000, I should have done my research first, but you know that I'm never going to do that. While this is filling up, let's just take a look at some of the prices, actually I'll show you first that all the crops are ready to harvest. So that's cool, but uh, let's go into our prices, and as you can see here, actually, uh, you've got a number of uh, crop that actually got a higher uh, a high price. Now it's not it's not a great demand, but it is a higher demand. So uh, barley, we've got sunflowers a higher demand, and also soybeans. So uh, once I do my barley, I might actually start to look to sell some of that pretty quickly. Even though I should really stick around for a great demand, but you just never know when that's going to happen. So this is not even yeah. This looks like it's a twenty thousand. I think it's twenty one thousand from memory. This particular. Uh, tractor unit so we'll jump out there yeah so um, it looks like we've got some nice prices sitting there already and I'll probably will look to take advantage of those pretty quickly let's turn on this thing might help I think we're gonna end up having uh, way oh, come on wait, 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 hold, hold on did it pipe in oh, oh. okay absolute professionalism as always um, we will end up having probably way too much straw than we need. So I might disable that sooner rather than later. Although we could just produce a crap load of bales and just go and store them somewhere. Although with winter coming up, I'm going to need to store them somewhere undercover. And I haven't got a, I haven't got a huge number of places. I have got some, I actually have got some sheds way up in the top fields, but they're so far away from anything that it's probably a bit of a waste of time doing that as we come around and we're just going to finish off this portion here there we go so what I'm going to look to do now let's back this back we'll grab this edge and we'll probably do th probably four passes this way uh, at this edge of the field and then I can set the work away and I mean, really, I could do this all manually myself and save a bit of money on a worker, but I'm going to throw a worker in because what I'll probably do is I'll do the, um, I'll control the tractor and trailer without having to stop the harvester, which is always a good thing to be able to do. Um, and in the meantime, I can go and sort out that silage too. I'm also going to get to a point where I need to start uh, thinking about mowing some more grass for the winter and put it into silage. I've got plenty of hay bales. Grass bales are a waste of time this time of year because they're just gonna they're just gonna rot. 
so no use getting any of those but it is definitely worth probably uh, putting a whole lot into the silage pit that gives me a nice income source sitting there because I do want to buy some equipment I, a baler is definitely something I'd like to buy let's get this in, in cab view um, a baler is definitely something I need and use quite often so I want to buy that uh, and like I said before I, I'd like to buy a bigger tipper which will be more of an issue once I start harvesting those top fields because uh, quite a distance to get all the way back here so you don't want to have to keep coming back all the time I'd rather fill that up with plenty of uh, grain which I'm pretty sure it takes 40,000 litres uh, if I remember correctly which is a big if look at that little bit of uh, not quite matured wheat on the left hand side of the field there I'm not too sure I must have sown that accidentally after I did all this so that was a bloody top effort wasn't it Okay, so we'll grab this here and we'll go, we'll actually do a, what we'll do is, we're likely to do a uh, couple more passes. Hey, one thing I want to remind you all about too, and I know I keep banging on about it, but I'm going to keep banging on about it, is uh, come and check out my Twitch channel, which the, uh, the link is down in the description. I've been doing quite a bit of streaming lately, I uh, haven't done any for about a week or so now that I've said that, just with Christmas and everything, but... Um, I'll definitely be streaming some farming simulator. I've also been uh, streaming a bit of cricket, would you believe? Uh, which for some, particularly the American viewers, will be wondering what the hell that's all about. But check it out, something a little bit different. And um, I'll probably be doing some American and Euro Truck Simulator, probably Euro Truck Simulator. And the other thing I am likely to do is some flight simulation, potentially. And also the the other game that i have been doing actually i did stream not that long ago i remember now is station airs which is a uh basically you build a base on the moon at the moment uh, and it's it's uh sort of like a survival type game um it's pretty realistic from a physics point of view and all that sort of stuff and you've got to build solar panels to to uh power everything and you got to go and mine iron ore and gold and silver to build components like batteries and all that sort of stuff. It's a really cool game. Uh, so I've been playing quite a bit of that. It's it's quite hardcore and um, but really enjoyable. So bit of that, but yeah, quite a range of stuff. Probably a bit of motorsport too. So I'm trying to do quite a wide range. Well, let us spit it out. A wide range of stuff, but sticking to that simulation and sports theme pretty much of what I'm going to do and I've got a bit of an idea on how to incorporate all those games into one series next year so I'll sort of produce a video outlining that in the next few days or maybe just after New Year anyway guys here we go here we have got right now we've got to think about let's just zoom back ah what am I doing here we go ah ah I just want to line this up and we're going to get our uh, worker underway. Try to get it uh, lined up with that far end is what I'm looking to do. Let's stop that. Because I don't want it to actually harvest it. Come on, go. Oh, that's what happens. I turned off the motor. Do not hire me for a real farm. That is my recommendation, everybody. In case you were wondering, you thought, oh, heck place farming simulator surely it can be transferred no no i am a danger okay there we go he's nearly got a full grain tank which i sort of knew was happening so what i'll do here guys is i'm going to get alongside here and we'll go and tip this out so i'm going to have an absolute crap load of harvesting to be done a lot of fields here as long as I get at least 100,000 out of uh, each of the three, not each field, but, um, you know, 100,000 from three fields, I'm not too sure whether I'll get that much, to be honest. But if I can get 100,000, then my, all my silos will be filled with all the different, uh, all the different grains, so that would be kind of cool. I'll just have a quiet beer here in the background. It is Christmas time. Waka Changi, by the way, for you New Zealand guys that are watching, you know what that is. So it's quite a nice beer. In fact, that's their catch line. Quite nice beer, and I'd have to agree. Probably not the thing you should be doing when you're operating heavy machinery, but hey, you know, it's all good. So um, I, I, this won't quite fill the trailer up, 
but it will be enough in there for me to scoot away up to the farm and this will be the very first grain that we have tipped at Tal Toro district man we're gonna have so many blimmin straw bales it's gonna be ridiculous and you can't sell them on this map so I don't I'll actually get a baleish sooner rather than later and I'm gonna I'm not gonna I was thinking of baling every single field but I think I have so many bales it's just ridiculous all right okay guys so what we do here is from memory I've got to jump out because I think I probably could tip it in there as it is but that's actually a metal this is a metal cover that covers the grid that you go and tip your oh, hold on uh, I think I need if I go like that yep that brings that out and those go up see there's the great tip down the grain in there and we should be sweet so let's jump back to our tractor in we get and let's pour that out you little ripper love it that's money right there team now let's just check there's definitely not a oh look at that we've got 20 we're absolutely going to smash 100,000 litres and I'm pretty sure it's 100,000 litre capacity uh, but yet to be proven anyway guys so we're in uh, just after midday on uh, in I should say mid autumn what I might do is I might wrap up the episode there um, like I said jump on Twitch because I'm probably going to do the rest of the harvesting on Twitch and then uh, my next uh, uh, recorded session will either be at the end of harvesting or maybe i don't know what i'm going to do yet actually but it'll probably be uh, i'll probably do most of the harvesting on twitch or offline just depending on what i feel like doing so if you do want to go and check it out go and jump on my twitch channel but anyway guys things are looking good we've got snow coming in two days by the looks of it so we've got a lot of work to do we've got all these fields there's 15 fields in total we've got to create some more silage we'll probably sell a lot more silage we've got to bail up all the straw we've got a lot to do in basically one and a half days so i'm going to be working my ass off excuse the language it's supposed to be pg sometimes it's not i'm just going to put it out there but hey once again, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, everybody, as always, take it easy.